You want to go for a ride? Let's go for a tell you ride. I'm Jeff Teague. This is Auto Jeff Reviews, and I'm glad you're here. I'm here at Fred Anderson Kia of Raleigh. They were nice enough to loan me this 2022 Kia Telluride EX. It's in black copper color. We got to check it out, right? Telluride with the new Kia logo, the new branding. I have been meaning to dig into this one a little bit more because it's an extremely popular midsize SUV, very hard to get. Lots of people on waiting lists to get this one. You'll find four different trim levels. You can sort of see the copper color come out as the sun hits it. There's LX, S, EX, which you see here, and then the SX. So let's walk all the way around. As I always say, like I'm at an auto show, because I want to show you what's going on, faux show. This is with the gray interior, and we're gonna go do a little deep dive here, but first, a first look. I think it's always important in videos to get a full view of the interior and the exterior before you start going section by section. That way you're familiar with it and you know what to expect. We're in a flight pattern today, folks. Lots of planes. We'll work through it. They're trying to do their business and get people to where they want to go safely. I like those sun shades right there. I like that. Then we've got captain chairs. And the other thing we have, that's right, the other thing we have Kia is always known for having cool gadgets, big screens. We've got good visibility. All the way to the back, look at that. Speaking of the back, a nice sized third row with good leg room. And here's the back section with the seats up. Everybody put your seats up and then we'll do the seats down and I think we'll have a good baseline to work off of. Let's see what makes this thing tick. So I'm going to open it up. It's got the pneumatic lifts. It's got soundproofing material and it's got a V6 engine. And for any Toyota Highlander fans out there, let's compare the engines. Highlander has a 3.5 liter V6 engine. It gives you 295 horsepower, 263 pound feet of torque. Telluride has a 3.8 liter Lambda V6 engine, 291 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. That's matched with an electronically controlled eight-speed automatic transmission. And I find that Telluride has a nice smooth ride to it. You can hear and feel the power as you're accelerating. It's smooth though, it handles the corners nicely. It's good ride comfort and I do like the space in all three rows. Let's look at the front end a little closer here. You can see the orange surround. It doesn't normally flash like that. That's the camera, but it does have LED headlights standard on it. You can see the chrome surround all the way around. It exudes an image of class and luxury and prestige, but it also looks tough. It's aggressive. It's got a pronounced front end with really tough lines. Look at that. That cuts right through the hood. Bam, in your face. How do you like the front end, everyone? You'll find standard on the EX. We've got these 20 inch alloys. And then of course we've got the Kia brand right here. Then I think the highlight is the darker gray accents all the way through these spokes. It's cool, it's classy. Keyless entry, remote start, let's find out. We got the key here. We've got lock, unlock, the brake hold, the panic button, and then we've got this one right here. What does that do, I wonder? Hold it down, it says. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we have remote start. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Now to me, the profile of this one, it's tough. It's really large. And it has power side folding mirrors with turn signal indicators, you'll find blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. And then as you walk up to the vehicle, I would like to see 
you'll be able to just open it up like that. But you can open it up with a push of a button. So I guess that's, and you can lock it just like that and you can see the mechanism working. I would like to see it be wireless, so to speak. And then you can see these metallic accents all the way around the whole darn thing. Whoa! That's cool. Again, it's giving it that impressive luxury upscale image. Looking up top. I want you to get a feel for just how nice this looks. It's beautiful. I'm hooked on a feeling. I tell you right, I'll have a 5,000 pound towing capacity. You'll have power lift gate. We'll have parking sensors, the silver rear bumper, and then a tow hitch on this one. Now, look at this. A good amount of space for your family trip. Whoop, whoop. It's got top tethers for the children. You can lower these seats with these straps. You can also lower, if I want to pull this, actually push this, boom, down it goes. Now we're flat. See, look at this. Now we've got ourselves a moving van. It's tall, it's wide, it's boxy. Boxy, but good. And then this right here is how you lower the left and right sides. We've got a 12 volt circular port along with a little bit of storage, cup holders right there, storage pocket, also tie downs. What? What else do we have for connectivity? We've got seven USB ports standard. Now that's looking out for everyone in the family, regardless of what seat, what row you're sitting in. Impressive. As Darth Vader would say, most impressive. Also impressive, let's pull that up. We've got some under storage as well. I'm in the third row right now and I wanna just show you so that you can get the best feel for what it's like. With the seats all the way back, it's a little bit tight, but it can move. And then this is with the back of the seat kind of close to you. So the knees are a little bunched up, but there's a lot of room. I'm five foot eight, still good for me right here. For a midsize SUV, it's very good. And then let's look. Here's the leg room for the back. Child safety latches right here. Third row. Let's talk about how this middle seat operates here. This is when you have the captain's seats. So I got lots of room here. If I want to be nice and give people in the third row some more seat room, leg room, do that. Now, if I want to put the seat forward or move it, sh tilt, freeing up the back. Watch this. So this drops it. Could do that. Or I could just push this button here and it's going to tilt it so that you can go all the way to the back. Let's look a little bit more at the detail. Got bottle holder right here. Seat pockets. And we've got the hook here so you can hang things. It's got a 12 volt circular down there, some cup holders. Look, USB right here in the seat. That's smart. Wood grain trim. Now we're gonna look, see the grab handles? Might help you as you're getting in if you've got leg, hip, or back problems. Sunroof. We've also got some temperature controls right here fan speed so you can control your own temperature controls and then we'll look once again before we dig in I bet that's over 10 inch screen size just a hunch now to me look at this beautiful leather seats do we have a power passenger seat we do forward backward up down twist twist and then the seat back I work the C back. Yeah. Then we've got a bottle holder here. The faux wood grain. Okay. 
Decent sized glove box. A little small. A little small. It's okay. You can take this out. We've got the electronic parking brake, the auto hold, parking sensors, engine start and stop off. We've got different drive modes, heated seats and ventilated seats, standard. And then we've got a wireless charging pad here. 12 volt, oh, got USBs, charging, media. Looking good, tell you ride, looking good. Power driver seat, lumbar support, and same thing here. Forward, backward, twist, tilt. Very handy, and it does it quickly too. Hood release, got parking sonar, our safety devices. Got a leather steering wheel. Controls relatively easy to figure out. A nice display, what does it show? You can see different pieces of information that might be valuable. Drive to display that one. I feel like I would have liked this one to be in color, but again, that's being nitpicky, right? Yeah, it is. These displays right here in the center column, boy, they seem so large, so chunky. They're easy to read. Not when the sun's on it, but they're easy to read. They are. You have to trust me on that one. <laughs> Heated seats, ventilated seats. And then look here, we've got navigation information. You can add your home, you can add different coordinates. All sorts of things we can do. The map, radio, the media. Like everything just seems futuristic in this particular vehicle. I really like it. You can go to the home. So many different things you can use to set up. Valet mode, rear climate controls. We've got a quiet mode. Quiet mode. 10 and a quarter inch screen here. So there's a lot to see and it's easy to use. I like the display, just seems kind of modern. All right, we've got an auto dimming rear view mirror. LED going on there. Then we've got lighted mirror, slider. Always give it the slider test, like a white castle. I find the seat to be very comfortable actually. It's supportive, it's soft, it wraps around. The seat bottom is comfortable. I'm raising myself. You lift me up. And I'm going down. I'm going down, 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 down. All right. Sorry if you don't like my singing. I can't help it. You can't stop this. Let's look at the original window sticker here. This one was originally in Michigan. Now it's in Raleigh, North Carolina. 2022 Telluride EX front wheel drive black copper with gray interior. That 3.8 liter V6. Six cylinder engine. It's got the forward collision avoidance, blind spot collision avoidance, lane keep assist, lane following, rear cross traffic collision avoidance, safe exit assist and highway driving assist, smart cruise control and stop and go, parking distance warning. Kia is always known for having really good safety features. It's got the 10 and a half inch touchscreen with navigation and map care, UVO link, one year trial, rear camera, with grid lines, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, push button start, remote start, Sirius XM, whoa baby, 18 inch wheels. Here's the traditional Kia 
factory warranty. Let's go over here. This starts at 37,790. Those are standard features. The black copper paint has a charge. The premium package, which gives you the second row captain's chairs, the 20 inch alloy wheel upgrade from 18 inch standard. The LED headlights are additional, part of that package. Then it has the tow hitch, self leveling rear suspension. That's handy for when you're either traveling with heavier cargo and passengers or whether you're needing to load something. And then it's got floor mats. We're gonna get it delivered 42.2. Here's the fuel mileage, 23 combined, 20 in the city, 26 highway. And here we go. Now it's at Fred Anderson Kia of Raleigh. Let's take this and put it in reverse. So you can see it has the parking sensors. It's got the grid lines that move. That's what dynamic grid lines mean. Cool. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Remember, if you're in the North Carolina area and you're looking for a Kia, how about Fred Anderson Kia of Raleigh on Glenwood Avenue? Check out their website. I'll put it in the description section. I really appreciate you letting me use these vehicles so I can give a great evaluation so you can do your research. If you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe. You can like it if you like the content, like the video, and then leave a comment. Tell me what you think of Telluride. Do you think it's a competitor to Toyota Highlander? Do you think they're two totally different vehicles? Leave a comment. Which one's your favorite in the midsize SUV segment, and what do you want me to review next? I'm on Instagram at AutoJeffReviews. Thanks everybody so much. See you next time.